So here's the situation. Here's the sitch. Here's the sitch. A function, Kim, possible. A function f is one to one with inverse function g if and only if, if you compose them with each other, they end up simplifying to just be x. So f of g of x ends up being x, g of f of x equals x. That's how you know that they're actually inverses this of This is other. actually really cool how this works, in my opinion. Right. I think it's absolutely, you should never get an inverse problem wrong if you'll take the two minutes to just check it. All right, so going Ever. going back, Ever. yeah, totally. Going back to what we did in 1.4 part two with composing functions, we're gonna take g of x, which is the cube root of x minus one. Okay, we're plugging that in right. to f. And you have to do this going both ways. You can't do one way and get x and be like, oh, it's an inverses. You, you have to actually do both, both function compositions because it's possible that one way will just give you one and one won't. So. Now, here's the way this is gonna simplify. The, cube root cubed gives you x minus one and then minus one plus one that's just yeah okay oh smiley face because made an appearance. We, we are confirming algebraically and so once we get down here to x it's not like this is our answer that's what we wanted to have happen so just put a smiley face next to it you know i feel like trick identities are right around the corner with the smiley faces what was that a secret don't tell. Dang it. Okay, f of x is x cubed plus one. one. Okay, so we're so, plugging so that in. So now into everywhere g. you see x in the g part, that goes in. Now, sometimes we have an issue where it's like, how do I know if I can get rid of these parentheses? Well, there's nothing right in front here. Right. It's going to be like a one. And there's no power on the back side. No power on the back side, so we're good to drop the parentheses out. And then we've got x cubed plus one minus one, which it's x, is? x cubed. Yep. So now that's the cube root of x cubed. Um, let me think. 23 subtract 7, divide by 9, and then carry over the 4. Uh, x? Yeah, it's just x. I was yes. about to whisper oh. to you. Uh, and so notice that um, we got smiley faces you could uh we yeah we did smiley faces for each we confirmed algebraically by showing work that they were inverses notice that like it matters that i had some work shown because otherwise you didn't confirm it algebraically. oh no you yes, can't start indeed. here and then be like oh that equals uh, x. Yeah, you gotta so. you gotta show a step or two yeah, you can't between. be a uh, cutting corners teenager on this one not whenever it says to confirm nope or prove or something bad like that. choice on that